Did I ever tell you about the time I went to a Black Lives Matter rally? Well, come on into the trailer. Let me tell you a story. We're here in Kansas City, Missouri. I've got my bandana on for a combination of things. We're currently under a state of emergency for a COVID-19 uh, epidemic, and we're also um, ordered to wear masks because of it, or cloth, uh, face coverings, as they say. Uh, but today, I'm going to talk about a, uh, a protest that was uh, to take place called Strike for Black Lives. Uh, it's not Black Lives Matter, but they're obviously taking advantage of Black Lives Matter protests going on and trying to politicize them for their purposes. And I'm seeing a lot of this kind of thing, so I just wanted to kind of get, uh, go talk about it. So it says here at their website, even before George Floyd's life was so horrifyingly taken, the normal, every, the normal everyone keeps uh, talking about going back to wasn't working for us. From racially motivated attacks to being forced to go to work without protective equipment or hazard pay in the name of the economy, our lives have not been valued. We cannot go back to that. We must move forward. Now, I'm reading from the uh, Strike for Black Lives um, website itself. So, the question is, what do these uh, strikers want? Well, I guess that's what we'll talk about. So, on this portion of the site is the Our Demands portion, and it says... Uh, that this is a moment to transform our economy and democracy, but until we dismantle racism and white supremacy, we cannot win economic, climate, or immigration justice. On July 20th, workers demand, one, justice for black communities, with an unequivocal de declaration that Black Lives Matter is a necessary first step to winning justice for all workers. To win high wages, better jobs, and unions for all, we must ensure that black workers can build economic power. To win health care for all, we must uh, address disparities in accessibility and quality of care. Action on climate change must center communities of color, immigrant communities, uh, and they must stand in... Oh man, my computer's acting up on me. But it'll do that sometimes when I get a little uh, uh, into certain topics, so that's behaving really weird. Um, the mouse is going off by itself. Uh, anyway, back, it seems to be working out now. Action on climate change must center communities of color, immigrant communities, and stand uh, in solidarity with black workers to build power together. Edu Man, stuff is messing up here. It's hard, it's hard to do this when uh, you're, you're, you're working against your own computer. Well, let's see if I can get it to better here. Um, immigrant communities stand in solidarity with black workers to build power together. Education, housing, and criminal justice reform must start by listening to black workers and leaders. We will support and align with black-led organizations and their demands. So what they're saying there is they're in solidarity. They're going to strike, in this instance, um, for... Uh, black lives but it's an organization of uh, people who are uh, put together ah let me get this thing off this is ridiculous anyway we are sorry about the state of emergency but I, I am inside the trailer so i don't think i'm harmed anybody and who the hell wants to get in a five by eight trailer with me anyway um the second demand is elected officials and candidates at every level use their executive, legislative, and regulatory authority to begin to rewrite the rules and reimagine our economy and democracy so that black communities can thrive. They must ensure fair and safe voting in person and by mail so everyone can fully participate in our democracy. As we continue to address the COVID-19 pandemic, we must protect the health and safety of all workers, returning people to work, and into public spaces with a rational, safe, and well-managed plan designed with workers uh, and community stakeholders. Number three, corporations uh, take immediate action to dismantle racism, white supremacy, and economic exploitation. Why are you going to another page? Ah! All right, well, again, more uh, computer behaving uh, inappropriately. This is why I hit my phone with hammer, people. 
Uh, for people who don't know, it's a common problem for me. Uh, okay, where was I? This includes corporations raising wages, allowing workers to form unions, providing health care, sick leave, and expanded health care coverage to people who are uninsured or have lost coverage as, as the result of losing their jobs during the COVID-19 pandemic. Child care support and more to disrupt the multi-generational cycle of poverty created by their uh, anti-worker tactics. Workers must have ample personal protection equipment, PPE, and have a voice in the plan to create safe workplaces during and after the pandemic. Every worker has, this is uh, number four, every worker has the opportunity to form a union no matter where they work. Every worker in America must have the freedom that comes from economic security and equity in opportunity. We demand the immediate implementation of a $15 an hour minimum wage, fully funded health care coverage, and paid sick leave for all. Okay, so those are the demands. Now, um, there's a lot of talk about uh, different uh, actions and uh, different pieces of this, but... Um, you can see that they're definitely trying to uh, talk about PPE, safety for workers um, during the COVID-19 uh, epidemic. And that's going to include not only uh, uh, safety for things like masks and stuff like that, but also safety for uh, their job. And they also want $15 an hour as a minimum wage. That's everywhere. That's not just in the high rent districts of places like New York and L.A. and uh, San Francisco. That's uh, everywhere. So $15 an hour is the minimum wage. They want to have a f uh, free uh, health care. They want to provide sick leave and uh, even expand the health care coverage as well as um, providing job security. So, and the right to, to, to form unions. Now, that's fine. Those are all fine ideas. And I definitely believe Black Lives Matter. And this solidarity campaign is, I think, what you're seeing um, when you're seeing a lot of uh, people talk about these issues, but they kind of get off track. So if you, you're talking about Black Lives Matter and all of a sudden they start, they start talking about something else like, uh, well, COVID or, or uh, unionization or any number of things. Now, I can't, um, I can't seem to get to... My mouse to work at all now, so. And uh, I just received an internal error and it says it's shutting down. So. Let me work some things out and I'll get back to you. Now, just to try to show you a little bit of what's going on here. If I try to scroll the mouse up to go click on one of the links. I don't know if you can see that here where I'm holding it, but. Can't get up there, and it, sh it shoots down back to the bottom to where away from the link. So, oh, it just got there. Hey, well, let's continue. Um, so this uh, strike in particular is uh, started by the S uh, E I U, and it has uh, in uh, cooperation or sympathy strikes, what have you, or what have you, um, uh, or at least they're saying on this website. Just because someone says something on the website doesn't mean that they're actually affiliated. So that's kind of what the problem is. There's a lot of uh, uh, talk that is uh, not being backed up by actual uh, information that makes it uh, hold up under scrutiny. Anyway, the SEIU, the uh, Service Inter Employees International Union, the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, the American Federation of Teachers, the United Farm Workers, Athena, Partnership of Working Families. Well, the list goes on, and you can go look it up yourself. Um, but that's the, that's the group of people that are out there um, who are unified in what's going on now. I'm no expert on everything, but... At the same time, I'm willing to go through the effort to look at the different things and, and kind of give you my opinion on, on uh, what I find. But anyway, this is a large group of workers. The fight for a $15 and a union. Unite Here, Coalition on Black Trade Unionists. Um, there's a couple that I want to mention here um, that are interesting because um, one of them is... Um, 
or this Climate Justice Alliance, Union of Concerned Scientists, um, Greenpeace. But I, there's one in here that I saw that was like, it's kind of interesting. The League... Anyway, I, I think I'm mistaken, actually, on that. I read it wrong. So, um, so oftentimes, the, you know, I get things wrong as well. So that's why I can't jump to conclusions on these things. But I can um, do my best to try to piece together what makes the most sense for myself. Uh, so anyway, we've got uh, the demands taken care of. Let's go to the take action area. So the take action area, they said, today at... Um, noon, take an 8 minute and 46 second pause from work. So, send an RSVP to the website to get your information. Uh, send a host an event in their name. Go on strike for black lives, it says. And register to vote. So that's what they're trying to get people to do. That's the actions that they're trying to get people to take. Now, the 846 pledge, now the the, uh, the George uh, Floyd video, well, supposedly 8 minutes and 46 seconds that he was kneeled on, but I think they've said that it's 7 minutes and 46 seconds. I'm not sure where the, what the discrepancy was. But 8 minutes and 46 seconds um, is what they're suggesting that people go and do. If you, if you go and do that, they're also recommending that you take a um, form that they fill out and give it to your employee. Now I'm strike. Okay. So it says one of the so one of the most powerful actions you can take with your coworkers is to go on strike. For most workers, it is illegal for for your boss to fire you for striking. But strikes can lose protection. Learn more about how to strike here. Then search for an event to join below. So I click on how to strike, or oh, learn here. Now, this is pretty deep in the uh, actual bowels of this website. It looks like a very simple website with four buttons. But uh, so we're going back to, to, to now how to strike. So if you work in the private sector, you're likely part of a majority of workers who have rights under the National Labor uh, Relations Act, in LRA. You can't be fired for taking part in protected strike actions, but you have to take certain steps outlined below to make sure you're safe. If you're a public worker or healthcare worker or already represented by a union, different rules apply to you, and you should not use the strike notice included here. Um, what dues? Notify your boss that you are striking. Tell your boss the reasons you are going on strike. See the list below. And deliver a strike notice to your manager. Strike over conditions in your workplace. Recruit your coworkers to go on strike with you. Ask friends, family, and supporters to walk uh, you back to work on uh, July 21st. The reasons to strike. To protest racism on the job. To protest for higher pay at work. To protest against workplace favoritism. To protest uh, unsafe working conditions. To protest sexual harassment on the job. To protest a wage theft to protest unfair work uh, scheduling, to protest lack of training opportunities, to protest the lack, uh, oh, to protest, the computer's acting up again, to protest uh, mistreatment and disrespect from management, and any other problem you are having at work, and that is put out there for emphasis. Do not say you are striking to protect a political issue, i.e. strike because of racism, white supremacy, etc. in the world. So you're not protected that's what they're saying. You're not protected from being fired by your employer if you go on strike for black lives. But they're saying to strike for black lives. So this kind of um, talking out of both sides of your mouth is a little bit rough for me. So this is kind of what I'm saying is I, I can't say with certitude that this is all um, really attributed to the people they're saying it is. It's just a nice website. But um, that's kind of the problem and a lot of the tactics tactics that are being used. Um, anyway, complete the strike notice based on the uh, directions above, then save the notice and deliver it to your boss before going on strike. So, save and deliver the strike notice to your employer. 
document your delivery of the strike notice so you have proof that, in fact, it was delivered. And where applicable, make a walk-back plan with a group of coworkers, allies, and friends and family. Walk-backs, the definition of that is kind of like uh, uh, coming back to work with people with you so they say that they support you. There, is a, there are power in numbers, and you can show your... Ah! This thing is uh, really screwing up. There's power in numbers, and you can sh uh, show your employer that you won't be intimidated by showing up with friends, family, coworkers, or a clergy person to be a witness when you return to work. Knowing that other people have your back will discourage any attempts at retaliation and is a reminder to your boss that your strike was legally protected. So this goes on to say, and it's, it's uh, uh, posted by a, it says, uh, Rising Majority. Um, is the logo, hashtag strike it for black, black lives, and it's made by a company called Wide Eye, which is a um, creative uh, company in Washington, D.C. So, the pledge that you're supposed to make to this organization is... On July 20th, workers across the country will walk off the job as part of the strike for black lives. Even if you can't go on strike or join us in the streets, you can still stand up for black lives. Add your name to the 846 pledge in memory of George Floyd and all those taken too soon by unnecessary police violence and commit to take a knee for 8 minutes and 46 seconds wherever you are on Ju uh, July 20th at noon or holding uh, 8 minutes and 46 seconds of silence on Ju July 20th at noon or walking off your job for 8 minutes and 45 seconds. So again, this isn't like they're doing anything horrible. It's not something that's... Um, unreasonable. You walk off at noon, I mean, it's lunchtime for God's sake. So it's not like you're, you're going to put a, a lot of business or companies in a bad situation. Maybe unless you are a service worker, and that is rush hour for... Um, you know, getting your uh, meal served to you. So what I decided to do was go out today to go get uh, uh, some uh, McDonald's and see what happened. Well, I couldn't see any evidence of uh, a strike. I couldn't see any evidence of uh, people taking knees. I spoke with a black gentleman and a Hispanic gentleman, and we both uh, uh, just kind of shot the shit for a little bit. Um, I absolutely support Black Lives Matter in the aspect of it being a call to action against police brutality. Now, I happen to think that police brutality happens to more than just black people because I've been a victim of police brutality. Um, I'll get to that information in the future, lots of uh, things to go. Uh, but there's a lot of talk about protection of PPE and you know, providing masks for people for COVID and uh, all these things that... Uh, that I think are a little bit uh, disingenuous. And I know I might get in trouble for some of these uh, opinions, but tell me about what your thoughts are here in the comments. And um, check out What a Crazy Ride. I'm trying to put some content into this uh, blog right now. And uh, subscribe. Hit the bell for the uh, notification so you'll get uh, the stories. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with something else.